Hello, it's Julian Cope and the boys here on Liverpool Live. And it's just coming up towards half past 11. I'm in the company of Liam Stell from Mersey Care. We're talking about children's, National Children's Mental Health Week. I've probably given it the wrong title there, but it's something in the ballpark, isn't it? So tell us about some of the things, some of the, the, the resources that are available for people who may want to take advantage of what's on offer. So I think it's important to understand how mental health services locally are set up because I think there's sometimes a bit of confusion. So I work for CAMS Crisis Team, which is obviously the, the top, top end of stuff when mm. young people have sadly either tried to take their own life or there's been some quite serious sort of self-injury and, and, and things like that. But mental health services, I think, is often understood as almost just CAMS. However, how they're sort of set up is is this a... It's a vast array of services and, and CAMS only makes up quite a small part of it actually in terms of how they're commissioned. So I work over at what we're known as Mid Mersey, so that's Warrington, St. Helens, yeah, Halton yeah. and Nosley. And as part of each individual CAMS team, how it used to be set up in a tiered system, mm. which was tier two and tier three CAMS. However, now we work towards something I've done for the past few years, something called the I Thrive model, which is where services come and support children at the at the right time that's for them. Mm. So to almost go back to something that I mentioned before, of say if you've got a, a young person who's being bullied, and they might actually be con conveying with some quite severe difficulties. Mm. However, the thing that's going to get their mental health better at that moment in time might be to simple as remove the bully. Yeah. Mm. Or... or Something, you know, to, not to oversimplify, but but that. Ha and then it might be mental health services come into place after it because then they can sort of start to deal with the trauma that's been as a result of that bullying. Mm. Sometimes if you try to, say, do therapy and it's still ongoing, it's going to be ineffective mm. because the trauma or the thing that's causing the difficulty is still ongoing. So it will be unfair on the child because it almost makes it seem like there's something wrong with them mm. rather than what's going on with them. Yeah, yeah. So say locally we have, um, so in St. Helens, for example, there is Bernardo's, um, in Warrington, there's St. Joseph's, there's Listening Ear at places, there is We Are With You, which is sort of the young person's drug and alcohol services. So I say, depend on where you live, we all have different yeah. different names, yeah, but yeah. they are part of the CAM system. I don't think everyone knows that. Right. So when a, a referral comes through to us and we may signpost it, elsewhere i think it's, it's one of those guys yeah and i think sometimes it's often understood as a reject from our service but it's not it it just it's what used to be called tier two cams it just how mm. ha how happens to be under a different place now whether that's yeah. bernardo's or a different counseling service or cooth mm. mm. um so it's there's just different things of how it works so it's still part of the same thing there isn't services that have been lost as a result and actually there's been some really good services like in St Helens recently we've just started working with the YMCA right which is a, it's a brand new thing and they're going to do some youth work with mm. individuals that have in crisis as well so almost at the top end of stuff because mm. we've realized well what actually can cause a, a real positive impact on young people is stuff socially so we can do sort of therapy based things or whether it's medication for sort of individuals and the sort of traditional mental mm. health things that we have but actually if you just do that on, on your own often it, it's not going to last very long it's not a long-term solution yeah. so we want young people to integrate into other things whether that's a sports club whether that's a drama club whether that's cadets fire, fire cadets th th there's lots of different things that can mm. be and that it, it could be as, as simple as just going to the cinema mm. do you know what i mean for some person that's been stuck in the room for 12 months yeah. just going out getting out yeah, uh, so, go out and have a coffee, something like that. It, All of these things have such a th therapeutic effect, don't they? It, exactly. And, and so the idea of this model now is to work very closely with education. So it was part of the NHS five-year forward plan, and that's why locally we have the mental health school teams as well. Mm. So once again, they're teams that are integrated into schools and have practitioners assigned to schools, that early intervention. So once again, so it's not seen as that traditional CAMS brand. Mm. However, it's still mental health support. So it's still one of the same sort of family of services that helps supporting people. So it's just changing. And I think because we've maybe not got it out there as much, and this is part of it, to try and understand what we do and actually a hell of a lot of good work that we are doing yeah, yeah. to try and 
prevent people getting to camps. So I can understand there'll be frustrations in that because at times it's difficult for us as professionals to navigate because there's constantly new services yeah, sure. coming up. But the idea, obviously, over the coming months and years is the more we can do things like this in terms of getting yeah. people to understand us, I think, you know, people will start to feel better as a result of it. Well, listen, Liam, it's, it's always good to speak to you and hopefully we can catch up again with you in a, in a few weeks' time just to give us an update and, you know, advice to people. And we would encourage people, if you are listening or if you're watching this via our social media, that if you do want to get more information about uh, the services that Liam and the guys over there at Mersey Care offer, we'll make sure that we put that information up on our social media pages and, of course, information that we get here, we'll put it on the air as well. So uh, just finally then, if there's uh, an immediate resource, an online resource that people can go on to, gone to straight away. If you could just let us know what that is again, please. Leave. Yeah, so if you just go into Mersey Care and, and type in CAMS or children's mental health, the, the things come up and, and depending on where you live, every CAM service has a duty offer. So if you, the numbers are on there, so if you ring your local CAMS, whether you're open or not, they'll be able to give you advice yeah. and that'll be signposting you to the right place. So, so don't hesitate to contact them. Brilliant. Liam, thanks very much indeed for that. Okay, uh, it is uh, Liverpool Live. Just come up to 25 to midday on a Wednesday. Still to come, we're going to be talking with Rachel Ashley in the next hour of this show with our special guest, Paul Birchall.